Can this thing really be used for surveying? A couple of months ago, the guys over at Mosier came to visit me and they gave me an inside look at the Mosier 2. They claim that you can use the small device to take measurements and that the accuracy of those measurements are within half of a percent. And as a surveyor, half of a percent of what? What does that exactly mean? How much accuracy can I really expect with the Mosier 2? Well, today I'm going to be surveying this vacant pharmacy and comparing the data that I get out of the Mosier 2 to what I would get with a surveying total station. Now, inside this little device is an accelerometer and a gyroscope, which is similar to what we have in our smartphones, but obviously the accuracy of those gyroscopes and accelerometers are a lot less than what you'll find inside of this little Mosier 2. So how exactly does this thing work? Well, the idea is that the tip right here of this Mosier is where data is being collected. So if I'm measuring the corners of the buildings, then I would hold the device up to the corner of the building. Or if I'm measuring a point on the ground, then I would actually have this device on the ground. Now I know what you're thinking. How inconvenient is it to have to drop this and then pick it up and then drop it again? Well, that's where this thing comes into play. This little stick is what you'll use to measure points on the ground. Simply take the Mosier 2 and just stick it in this little like slot right here. And then there is a little corner for where your corner should sit. And so now the Mosier 2 sits nice and snug in the stick. So if I were to start collecting data here, and then move over to a point over here, the Mosier 2 would be able to measure the distance traveled between these two points. This device was definitely not designed for surveying, but it can be used for surveying, and there is a certain level of accuracy that can be achieved if you follow the proper surveying steps. Just before the curb, let's go ahead and switch over to arc, measure here. So at first glance, this doesn't look too bad. I do see some error right here, some overlapping error, but overall the shape of the site is definitely there. Now I'm well aware that a total station is a professional surveying machine designed to achieve sub-centimeter, if not millimeter level accuracy. Whereas the Mosier 2 Pro is definitely not that. But I just think it's impressive that we can pull data from the Mosier 2 Pro and have it look somewhat like a typical survey drawing. And so if I do equal average and take a look at the average error, it looks like we got an average about 1.8 feet or about 55 centimeters. And this project spanned about 1500 feet of mapping. And so my final thoughts about the Mosier 2 Pro, if you're going to be doing residential or small commercial surveys, then anticipate an error level of about two feet or roughly 60 centimeters.